All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. After building the wagon, we're gonna need to take more wheels and tires to the track, because this thing blazes and gets like four laps out of a set. Uh, if you haven't seen the build of the wagon, go check some of our other videos out. It's pretty wicked. But uh, yeah, come to the conclusion that our little aluminium tire rack on the trailer is not gonna cut it. So today, I'm gonna be building a new one. Um, I'll show you guys the old one. Here it is here. Uh, it was pretty good, it's nice and lightweight, but it just keeps cracking because it's alloy. And it only fits seven wheels. So I'm gonna make a double row one instead of a single row one out of steel. And it's gonna hold 16 wheels instead of seven. So it should be pretty good. So here we have the old base that I'm gonna cut off the trailer. Over here, got a heap of steel. Heap of steel, so I'm gonna see what we can make. Um, yeah, I'll take you guys along to the ride. Should be a nice little short video. Whipping up a pretty epic trailer rack. I reckon it'll come up pretty good, so ish. Smack that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Corey! <laughs> Got the old mounts cut off the trailer, we're about to start building the new frame. So, ground it all off. We've got a nice starting base now. So I'll go through some of the steel that I'm using. I'm gonna be bringing the rack out wider to in line with the wheel arches. So this base frame, I've got some thick stuff here. This is some 50 by 50 by three mil wall. So that's gonna be our strong structural stuff to go around the outside. And then, over here, the rest of it's going to be made out of this 40 by 40 by 2.5 mil. So it should be plenty strong enough and hopefully not too heavy. That's about it. So I'm going to start cutting up some supports to come out here and building this frame around here. And then we'll build the tire rack on top of that. One side of the uh, base is done. Still got some welding to do, but that's gonna be our base support that we can uh, bolt the tire rack to. Nice and large. Do the same on the other side. And then we'll start making the tire rack itself. Just like that, the base is pretty much complete. I may end up putting some diagonals down to the frame rail there, but there's looking pretty good. Now we can build our tire rack off of that. So using the 40 by 40, 2.5 mil wall, we're just gonna build a frame that bolts to this so it's removable. Up, build the sides. And then, because there's gonna be two rows of tire racks, there's gonna be four holes going across. And uh, yeah, that's the basics of it. Do a bit of time-lapse action and uh, start to make some more progress on this thing. True, all right. Got the end plates made. I'll also probably chuck the dimensions for all of this down in the description if you are interested in making something similar and aren't sure like what sizes suit what. So over here, well this is this is the end pieces. So bolts down to our mainframe. I'm gonna put some diagonals in here to give it more support. This bar will have our horizontals going across which the tires are gonna sit in and then this bar will have the pole going through it to hold them. So I just set up the horizontals here to mock it up, work out my width that I'm gonna set them apart, sit a wheel in there and then work out how high up I want this one to be. But yeah, I'll chuck all the dimensions in the description if you're interested or something like that. Anyway, now that we got that, go ahead and put in my horizontals and yeah, she's getting there. She's gonna be a big girl. Hopefully the trailer can handle it. Also a couple of tools that I've found super handy. 
this thing for in there when making these things square. Pretty handy, magnetic right angles. The uh, digital angle meter, so you can set it to zero on the trailer and then make everything else zero as well. So you can get everything level to the trailer and not to the ground like a normal level would do. So digital angle meter is definitely handy. You don't need it, but it's good. Square, also handy for getting things square. Tape measures are good for measuring things. Grinding discs. Oof, 40 grit flappy discs. These things go hard as. Love them. Welder, dock off sort. Don't need. You need the welder, but you don't need the dock off sort. You can use a grinder. Anyway, let's keep building. We have some horizontals. It's officially a tire rack. So I've tested it. Um, and yeah, they sit up here nicely with a bit of a gap in the middle. Oh, Drew, Adam, what's going on, mate? What's happening? I'm building a tire rack. This is the man behind the computer. Anyway, this is Adam. What's going on? <laughs> he films, he edits the vlogs. Thoughts? I'll take a few sides. Yeah, it should fit 16 on there. Hopefully. So yeah, we got our horizontals in. Looking good. Everything's just sort of tacked up. And uh, yeah, I gotta finish welding it all. Put in some 45 supports down here to the frame rails and then pull it off and slap it with some paint. And then look at the uh, poles that are gonna go through the centers of the wheels to hold them in place. Not bad. The tire rack is almost complete. So ended up chucking in some supports under there. Um, got pretty messy, so I filled it with weld, but finished welding up pretty much everything else. Put these plates on the ends and drilled holes through for the poles to hold the wheels and tires on. So I'm getting some um, lengths of 32 mil outside diameter aluminium tube and it's a three mil wall thickness. So that'll slide through with a pin on one end and a plate on the other end. So I'm just grabbing that now and we'll do that. But yeah, I'm gonna rip these bolts out, unbolt the tire rack, see if there's any spots I haven't welded yet and then slap it with a bit of black paint and she'll be pretty much complete, which is sick. So she's bloody sturdy, that's for sure. And uh, yeah, keen to try it out next weekend at the Battle Royale event, load her up with 16 wheels and should be mint. Fire racket is complete. I sprayed it with some satin black paint, just the squirt stuff you get from Bunnings, I find it's pretty good. Got some aluminium 32 mil outside diameter tube with a three mil wall. Welded some plates on this side. And then on the other side, I'm just gonna get some padlocks to go through so people can't steal the wheels. But uh, yeah, zapped on some jerry can holders either side too to finish it off. Come up pretty schmicko. Pretty happy with that. So yeah, she should fit easily 16 wheels on it. Nice and strong and yeah, gonna be pretty gangster. So. I'll chuck uh, the dimensions and steel and everything on the screen here. So if you want to screenshot it, if you want to use it as a bit of a guide, if you're making one. And uh, yeah, that's going to be about it. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, stay tuned for more sick shit down at the uh, Keep It Reek factory. True? Yes. Ooh.